Konosuba Fantastic Days is the latest offer in the Gacha RPG Gen. The game features a fan favorite anime IP from Konosuba, which is the journey of Kozuma Sato, along with his quirky band of friends Megumi, Aqua, and Darkness. Here, you can experience the original story along the way as you progress through the stages, summoning your favorite characters on different manners. This game also features a great turn-based combat system where you can control the skills of your heroes that you choose to bring to your party. So, if any of that sounds like fun, let's first take a look on how to actually download and install the game. To install Konosuba Fantastic Days, Firstly, head out to the Bluestacks official website to download the latest Bluestacks High version on your PC. And once you're done installing, open the Play Store and here look for Konosuba on the search bar on the top. Now click on install just like you would on your regular phone. And once the installation is finished, the icon will pop up here on the home screen. Just click on it and start playing. But now that we got this out of the way, let's take a look on all of the many advantages that comes with playing with Bluestacks. Rolling is an essential part of games like Konosuba Fantastic Days, where strong head start matters and can set you up for a smooth journey throughout the game. And playing on Bluestacks is the process for a perfect reroll using the Multi Instance Manager tool. That's because the rerolling process is very easy and less time consuming, as you can essentially skip the whole tutorial and do a 10 tool summon from the very beginning. And you can make this whole process a lot easier with the Multi Instance Manager tool. With that, you can create multiple instances of Bluestacks to run Kunosuba and reroll all of them at the same time. So, my suggestion is to keep rerolling in multiple accounts until you get any of the four star heroes Melissa, Iris, Chris, and Megumi. Kunosuba Fantastic Days is a turn based combat RPG that requires you to do multiple clicks to get to different menus and screens in the game. Thankfully, you can use the Bluestacks key mapping tool not only to emulate real mobile touch controls, but also to customize the keys for different actions in the game. For example, you can press H to open the character's menu and in the long run save a lot of time, instead of having to manually click in the icon every time you want to view your collection of heroes in game. So to access this key mapping tool and all its options, all you have to do is click on this keyboard icon right here on the side panel. Here, you can preview and even customize your whole control scheme. Konosuba Fantastic Days has an auto feature as well as a skip ticket feature, which let players skip the whole stage using their stamina and the skip ticket while getting all the rewards according to the number of skips. However, the game offers just a limited number of these skip tickets. And after you're over, you need to go through multiple stages to grind for materials, XP, and gold. But thankfully, you can bypass this limitation using the Bluestacks macro tool. With that, you can record macros for specific stage battles and definitely repeat them with the help of a single button. So to access this feature, just click on this little icon here on the side, and then you can create a new macro. Record whichever action you want to save, and once you're done, you can hit stop, and then you can set up a name and the key binding for your macro. And if you go to the macro settings, you can set up the interval of time and the number of times you want the macro to be repeated. Bluestacks takes pride for all its performance in RPGs, and Konosuba is no exception. Here you can enjoy this game at the best visual settings without expecting any lags or crashes. So, if you want to have a lag-free 60fps and smooth gameplay, make sure to go to the settings and put everything to the max. If you want to play Konosuba Fantastic Days on a bigger screen without worrying about buried drainage, it's highly recommended playing this game on the PC with Bluestacks, using your keyboard and mouse and having access to a ton of awesome features. And if you have any questions about the installation process or any of the many Bluestacks features, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. But anyway, that's it for now, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!